Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video, I'm going to explore the potential drone pilot jobs in 2020 and beyond. Are you a recently qualified drone pilot eager to start your career? Do you have ambitions to become qualified, but at the same time, you're concerned about the job prospects? Do you think increasing legislation and control of drone flying is going to spoil the fun and perhaps even hinder your chances of developing a career. Watch this video to the end as it will give you some idea of current job prospects and career development opportunities in the years ahead. Since I last made a video on this subject, we've seen the FAA and the CAA introducing tighter legislation with more to come. We must anticipate that other aviation authorities around the world will do likewise as increasing numbers of drones and other flying robots appear in the skies above cities and fields. The hardware and software are evolving, but at the same time, the aviation authorities are drawing up guidelines and legislation to control this new form of air traffic. As with all technological advances, there is a need for skilled personnel to fill vacancies created by the companies who recognize the potential for UAS and who want to invest in it. Once they are convinced of the benefits to their industries and the cost savings made possible by UAS, then the spending follows naturally, creating a demand for more drone pilots. There are also startup companies looking for designers and engineers who can bring a concept into reality. With a little planning and the right training, drone pilots and others can look forward to varied and rewarding careers within an exciting industry, but the keyword is planning. Drone pilots who want to rapidly gain experience and develop their careers need to be ready to take advantage of opportunities as they arise. In order to do that, they need to anticipate how the UAV industry is evolving and in which direction it's heading. As anyone who has taken the first steps into the world of unmanned aviation knows, drones can be put to all kinds of uses. There is the obvious task of aerial photography and cinematography, and there's also mapping, construction, inspection, agriculture and security. Check out my video. What are drones used for? Updated. 43 uses for flying drones and UAV for more examples. The next wave of development. One of the problems with the mass adoption of drone technology is that the human operation of UAV is not scalable. If you want to have tens of thousands of drones doing important jobs that increase yield and save water in agriculture, help with proactive maintenance in infrastructures, etc., then you need tens of thousands of drone pilots. Except there won't be that many pilots, and even if there were, it would be too costly to employ them all. According to a report published by Gwyn Partners, see link below, the next wave of development in UAS will be autonomous drone stations. Autonomous drone stations, or ADS, are things like platforms from which the drone takes off and to which it returns, all automatically. The drone is programmed to take off and fly a fixed route, return, get recharged wirelessly on the platform, and then repeat the process in the next hour or the next day. These might be used for checking for forest fires, inspecting solar panels on solar farms, or in precision agriculture. Companies developing this idea include Edronic and AeroVinci. The Airscort ST1200 docking station is another example. It's a box from which the drone emerges, carries out its work, and to which it returns for recharging. Once safely in the docking station, it's protected from the elements, dust, animals, etc. Industries are willing to invest in UAS technology, but they obviously want the best ROI for the cash they risk. And one of the ways in which they can increase this figure is to use autonomous drones that require minimal amounts of maintenance or human intervention. This may have an impact on the number of drone pilot jobs available, but as the industry grows, other opportunities requiring piloting skills will emerge. Urban Air Mobility UAM. The developing world of urban air mobility involves pilotless aircraft, like drone taxis. 
Although some UAM aircraft will be piloted, be they personal aerial vehicles or flying taxis and commuter aircraft, others will be autonomous and robotic. See my video, Autonomous Aircraft, Personal Air Vehicles, eVTOL Flying Cars, Passenger Drones, for more on this subject. So there is a crossover between manned and unmanned aviation within the UAM branch of the aircraft industry. Who will design the most successful unmanned aircraft capable of carrying passengers? Will it be drone engineers who started their careers on nano drones or small UAS and ended up designing large UAVs? Or will it be aerospace engineers who began designing conventional manned aircraft and migrated into unmanned aircraft? Drone pilot specialities. As you've probably already noticed, the important thing to remember from a drone pilot's point of view is the importance of specializations. If you can fly a drone well and you're a confident and competent UAV pilot, that's a good start. But you stand a much better chance of being the one picked for employment if you have one or more specialisations or experience in working in a particular industry. You'll still find jobs open to you without these strengths, but the starting salaries will be lower while the companies train you to fit their niche. Start thinking about how you would adapt your flying skills to the inspection of utility networks, agriculture, mapping, security, or the construction industry. Drone pilot salaries. As with any other industry, drone pilot salaries are commensurate with skills and experience, and there is likely to be a wide variation in pay. According to payscale.com, a drone pilot in the USA can expect an average of $50,000 per year. But an unmanned aerial vehicle pilot can expect an average of $75,000 per year. So to get a more accurate figure for your dream job role, I suggest you visit sites like payscale.com or glassdoor.com and then search using a variety of search terms like drone pilot, unmanned aerial vehicle pilot, operator or maintainer. Aside from the candidate's skills and experience, there is the size and profitability of the company itself. A startup drone company might offer lower salaries with share options. If it becomes a success, then this could be worth far more than a higher starting salary with no share options. Wherever you fit into the drone age, I wish you well with your career. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Give it a like and share this video with those who might also be curious. And post a comment below with any questions, thoughts or ideas.